Is it time to buy or sell Amazon stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Amazon. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, the 22nd of August, 2024. And now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analyses for any one among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since the 22nd of August, 2024, our system has ranked Amazon as a sell candidate, assigning it a score of negative 2.1. Now let's examine the stock's performance during this time frame. We will continue to monitor this assessment to observe how it develops in the coming days. Currently, the stock is positioned within a broad and declining trend in the short term, indicating further potential decreases. The three-month trend indicates a possible change of negative 6.22% over the upcoming three months, with expected returns ranging from negative 15.7% to positive 2.75%. Looking at the 12-month trend, it suggests a significant change of 46.28% over the next year, with possible returns between 36.58% and 73.54%. This implies a projected price range from 240.55 to 305.66 after one year. Our latest daily update for Amazon highlights a significant development. Weaker technical forecast for Amazon as stock downgraded to sell candidate. On the last trading day, Amazon stock price experienced a decline of 2.21%, dropping from $180 and 11 cents to $176.13. Throughout the day, the stock showed fluctuations of 3.30%, reaching a low of $175.68 and a high of $181.47. Notably, the stock has risen in six out of the last 10 days, with an increase of 6.23% over the past two weeks. Despite the drop in stock price, Trading volume also fell, which is a positive indicator, as volume typically aligns with stock movements. On the last day, trading volume decreased by 5 million shares, with a total of 30 million shares traded, amounting to approximately $5.28 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest stock price recorded was $201.20, while the lowest was $118.35. Presently, the stock price is 12.46%, or $25.07, below the 52-week high, and 86.51%, or $1,129.07, below the all-time high reached on January 15, 2018, when the price peaked at $1,305.20. Amazon is currently navigating significant legal challenges, particularly concerning the classification of its delivery drivers. Recent rulings from the National Labor Relations Board indicate that Amazon may be considered a joint employer of subcontracted drivers, which could impact labor costs and operational flexibility. This scrutiny might lead to increased regulatory burdens and legal expenses in the short term, affecting investor sentiment and stock performance. On a more positive note, Amazon is intensifying its efforts to enhance customer experiences ahead of its prime Big Deal Days sales event in October, which is anticipated to drive higher sales and reinforce customer loyalty. The expansion of its grocery delivery subscription service signifies a strategic move to capture more of the growing online grocery market, potentially leading to increased revenue streams. However, an appeals court has revived an antitrust lawsuit claiming that Amazon's pricing policies hinder competition, a situation that could pose risks to its market positioning. 
Despite these challenges, analysts maintain a bullish outlook on Amazon as a long-term growth stock, especially considering its robust performance in key areas such as Amazon Web Services and digital advertising in recent earnings reports. The combination of these factors will likely lead to volatility in the short term, but for long-term investors, current market fluctuations may present attractive buying opportunities. Analyst ratings are in focus. On Monday, the 5th of August, 2024, it was reported that Stevens assigned Amazon a grade of overweight along with a hold action. On Friday, the 2nd of August, 2024, Roth Capital assigned Amazon a grade of buy with a hold action. On the same day, JMP Securities rated Amazon as market outperform with a hold action. Also on that Friday, Piper Sandler gave Amazon an overweight grade alongside a hold. Finally on Friday, the 2nd of August, 2024, Cowan and Company rated Amazon as buy with a hold action. Analysts have assigned a general neutral rating to Amazon stock. They assess the price to earnings ratio as strong sell and the price to book ratio as strong sell as well. In terms of return on investment, the analysts provide the stock with a buy rating. The following signals have been identified for Amazon. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three month moving average convergence divergence, commonly known as MACD. However, some negative signals have also emerged, which may impact the near short term development of the stock. Currently, Amazon's stock presents sell signals from both short term and long term moving averages, contributing to a more pessimistic outlook. Additionally, a general sell signal arises from the relationship between these two indicators, where the long term average is positioned above the short term average. In the event of upward corrections, there will be resistance at the levels of $176.87 and $181.09. A breakout above either of these levels would trigger buy signals. A sell signal was generated from a pivot top point on Wednesday, August 21, 2024, and thus far, the stock has declined by 2.21%. Further declines are anticipated until a new bottom pivot is established. Notably, volume decreased in tandem with the price during the last trading day, which lowers the overall risk, as volume typically aligns with price movements. Here are some additional signals that may catch your interest. Moving average convergence divergence indicates a buy signal. Pivots show a sell signal from two days ago. Bollinger indicates a buy signal from 13 days ago. The short-term moving average points to a sell signal from two days ago. The long-term moving average also suggests a sell signal from 28 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages presents a buy signal from 25 days ago. Upon examining the 12-month chart, we observe the short moving average indicates a buy signal from 7 days ago. The long-term moving average shows a buy signal from 18 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages signals a buy from 13 days ago. For more signals, be sure to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Amazon Amazon finds support from accumulated volume at $167.90. This level may present a buying opportunity as an upward reaction is expected when this support is tested. The stock typically experiences average daily movements and with favorable trading volume, the associated risk is deemed to be medium. Over the past day, the stock fluctuated by $5.79, which represents 3.3%. Throughout the last week, the average daily volatility of the stock has been 1.71%. Before we dive into the potential trading levels for Amazon, let's cover some essential fundamental data. First, we have the price to earnings ratio, commonly known as the P.E. ratio. This important metric measures a company's current share price in relation to its earnings per share. A high P.E. ratio could indicate that the stock is overvalued, or it may suggest that investors are anticipating significant growth in the future. Additionally, the next earnings report for the third quarter of 2024 
is anticipated on the 24th of October, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates stand at $1.15. It's important to monitor these figures as they can have a substantial impact on stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Amazon. In the case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Amazon is at $193.25. If you do not own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a suitable level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Amazon encounters its first support level at $167.90. If this support level holds, it might present a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Amazon from multiple analyst sources is neutral. Now let's examine some recent insider trades. The five most recent insider trades were executed by Harrington Douglas J, who bought and sold 33,008 shares or options in the company. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we have determined that the insider power is negative, with a ratio of negative 85.252. In total, insiders purchased 840,898 shares and sold 10,025,096 shares in the last 100 trades. We currently hold a negative evaluation for this stock and a stop loss has not been established. Is Amazon stock a good buy? Amazon currently displays several negative indicators and is situated within a broad and declining trend. Consequently, we anticipate continued weak performance in the upcoming days or weeks, leading us to maintain a negative assessment of this stock. Given some minor weaknesses in the technical outlook, we have revised our analysis conclusion from a hold or accumulate to a sell candidate since our last evaluation. Upon examining the volatility and movements from the most recent trading day, our systems indicate that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Friday, the 23rd of August, we expect Amazon to open higher by $1.63, starting at a price of $177.76. We remind you that trading involves a significant risk of losing money and it is important to consult with a financial advisor before making any decisions regarding the buying or selling of securities. You should not base your investment decisions solely on the information provided by stockinvest.us. By using this information, you acknowledge that you are responsible for your own investment choices. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Share your thoughts in the comments below. What is your target for this stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day. With warm regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.